Hey everyone and welcome back to another AR Foundation in Unity tutorial and in this video we'll be going through the basics of setting up the image tracking functionality. So this is kind of following on in a playlist of augmented reality videos so if you wanted to watch any of the previous videos I'll leave a link in the description of that playlist below but I will try and separate them out as much as possible so you can just dive in to the specific topics you want. The only thing to make a note of is if you haven't already followed along in some of the previous steps you will need to make sure that you go to your window your package manager and you just want to make sure that you have the AR foundation core kit and potentially the subsystems installed but you probably won't need that one. If any of this is a little bit confusing and you did want some more information and like I said, there are previous videos in the playlist which will take you step by step on how to get all of the AR plugins and packages that you need installed to follow along. Now for this one, we do already have some things set up in the scene as well. So again, just to make sure that we keep all of this segmented into their own little topics. I'm going to go into the scenes and create a new scene here. Uh, we'll save this one and I'll call this one image tracking. And the previous one that we had called sample scene, I'm just going to rename this one to plane tracking. Okay, so to get things set back up for our image tracking functionality, first thing we can do is to remove our main camera and right click in here and we want to go down to the XR section and we just want to recreate another AR session and AR session origin. So once we have both of those, we're ready to go again. We can go to the AR session origin, go over to the AR camera and just make this one the main camera under the tag. This doesn't actually do anything, but again, if you wanted to expand on this later and you may need to reference the main camera, then we have that already set up and ready to go. Clicking back onto the AR session origin, we can add a new component and we want to find the image tracking. So if we just type image, we can find here the AR tracked image manager, which is the one that we want to use. And this will give us three different slots. Now, a lot of this stuff is going to be worked out behind the scenes. You can go into that script if you wanted to take a look at what is happening or at least get a better idea of what's happening. And we're going to expand upon this in the next video. But for this video, like when I start any new topic, I just want to get something up and running as quickly as possible so that we have a base understanding of how things work. And then we'll expand on that in the next video by creating some of our own functionality. The three main things of interest here though, we have our reference library, and this is just a collection of images that the app will be looking to detect. We have the maximum number of moving objects, which is, and that is pretty much tracking what you would expect from the name. And then finally, we have the tracked image prefab, and this will be the object which we will instantiate when a valid image from the library is detected. So to get started filling these in, we'll create our image library, which is a scriptable object from the AR plugin library. So if we start by going to our prefabs folder, we want to go on over to create and then XR, and then we can take the reference image library. I'm just gonna leave this named as it is by default, and that's perfectly fine. And with that selected, we can see over here on the right-hand side, we have the option to start adding our images. Now this is a nice simple step. We can just click add image, and we can find an image which we have in the project. I have one of these readily available. So a couple of things to note here are that the image that I have is a .jpeg, and it's important to note as well that that is in lowercase, so JPG in lowercase, because during some of my experiments, I have found that PNGs and even JPEGs just spelt with an uppercase .jpg actually cause some errors to happen and cause the build to fail. And you'll know that you've run into that issue if the error log at the end of a build process is referencing the image library failing to compile or something along those lines. So do look out for that. Bring in some JPEGs to your project and you should be ready to go. So back in the prefabs folder, I'm going to select the reference image library again. I'm gonna press select on this and I'm going to use the dev enabled JPEG that I have ready to go. Down here, we can specify the size. So it already knows that my texture size is 1024 by 1024 and the physical size in meters, I'm just gonna put this to 0.1. And I also want to keep the texture at runtime. So this is going to make sure that we can load this when it's on the device. And if you wanted, you can change the name, but that will be perfectly fine for what we need at the moment. And basically, like I said, this is a library so you can start adding as many images as you, as you want to be tracked by simply pressing add image and adding in the different textures that you may have. And you actually remove these by pressing this little button, which you can see right next to the text. So I'm going to leave that at the single image. I'm going to go to the AR session origin and I'm just going to drag this into the reference library first of all. The next one, like I said, is the max number of moving images that we can track. 
The only real limitation here is going to be based on the devices as this can become quite computationally heavy. So something like four should be perfectly fine to uh, just test a few different images if you wanted to get that going. The main thing of course is that we have something more than zero there. And then finally we want a prefab for our tracked image prefab here. So to do this, I'm actually going to create a new prefab. I won't use any of these. What I'll do is I'll go to game object and then 3D object, and then we'll just create a standard cube. Now, if you have watched the previous tutorials, you will know that I mentioned that the scale of this needs to be shrunk down quite a bit to match the uh, AR plane tracking at something like 0.05 or 0.01. For the image tracking, we can actually keep this a little bit higher at just 0.1 on the X, the Y, and the Z, uh, because this is going to be relative to the image that we're tracking, and it will turn out to be a little bit higher. And then I'm just going to zero out the position on the X, Y, and Z to zero. And with that done, we can drag our sphere into our prefabs folder, go back to the AR session origin, and we can just drag this onto the tracked image prefab. And with that done, we're now ready to build and test the application. Uh, as I mentioned, I'll keep the first video on the topic, getting the basics set up and working, and then we'll extend on this and improve the functionality in the next tutorial. So if we go over to file and build and run, we can build this and deploy this to the device. So this is now running on the device, and as you can see, it's tracking the image that I've added to the reference library and creating a prefab that I've assigned, and it's roughly the right sort of scale that we'd hope to see kind of cover the image in general. Now this is all currently being managed in the AR Tracked Image Manager class, and we'll be taking a look at that in the next video to see how we can extract some of this logic and gain a little bit more control over what's being created, and then also how those objects are being managed. But we can see that if I move the image around on the screen, uh, then that will be tracking the location of the image and making the prefab match that position, as well as doing something with the scaling as well, so we can drag the scale of the, uh, the image window around, and it will roughly scale the prefab again to match that. So those are the very basic steps that you need to take to get the image tracking working in the AR Foundation plugin. For now though, if you've enjoyed the video or found it useful, please do leave a like and share the video around. That is always appreciated and really helps the channel. And of course, to be kept up to date with any of the content coming from any of the playlists on the channel, do consider subscribing. As ever though, thanks for watching and I will see you all next time.